Hey, what's up, world? It's your boy Midwest of the G, and I'm just here to explain a little few things about this new MPK 25 that I got. Just recently bought. I don't really know too much about how to use it, so I've been trying to figure it out for the past few weeks. I mean, not a few weeks, but a few days. I only had it for a week. Probably not even that long. But I ran into a problem. Nobody was telling me how I can connect it to Fruity Loops and start recording. So with this video, I'm going to tell you step by step how you can hook it up for actual recording. Take the USB cable. Plug it right on in to your USB port. Instantly comes on. And you'll hear a noise too come out the computer to let you know the USB is hooked up. Right now I got it set on garage band. What you do is you take this knob right here. This you can turn this and I'm gonna set this on fruity loops. As you can see. Press to enter, you push the button down. Okay. Then you come over here on the good old Acer. Go right to the FL Studio. Bring it up. Of course. Then you go to the options. MIDI settings, and you'll see it right there. That's your input settings. I know it's hard to see it. I'm using my phone to record this. You're gonna have to enable all three of these individually. So you click that one, then you hit the enable. This one, same thing. Done. All active, all synced together. Up here, you don't really gotta worry about this up here. I'll be syncing it anyway to those right there. It's hard to see. You'll see the settings right there. Sometimes I sync them anyway, but you don't really need to. I'm going to do it without it, just to show you that you don't really need to. See, as you can see, those aren't synced. If they were, this would be lit up. Alright. Now, from the MIDI settings, you go to the audio. Go to your driver, switch it over. To the ACO driver, of course. You know, if you use an FL Studio... PC swagging, you gotta get the ACO drive. Right now, it should work. As you can see, I'm hitting it over here. You can see it right on there. Now, the problem I was having. Is that from here, I would try to record something, but it wouldn't let me. And I'm about to show you. Hit the record button. It pops up. Ready to record. I hit play. Just to mess with it. record that oh okay yeah I forgot to um, take the score setting off but that's pretty much what I had to figure out to get it to record this right here I had to hit the right button on the record 
and I had to set that to on score. It's hard to see it. That's score right there. I never, I didn't know that. It wasn't set. It wasn't letting me record. I'm about to show you. I'm about to turn it off. Erase these. Yeah, whatever. You can just even have it set on automation. Just put that on there. And it won't work. Try to record. You can see it beating. But it's not recording. That was a problem I was having at first. Until I realized that I had to go to the right, uh, go to the record button, hit the right click, and go to score. Now you don't have to turn the automation off, but you don't really need it for just what I what I was trying to accomplish, just trying to record something or make a beat or whatever. Now as you can see, I already showed you I didn't put it back on score. You know, got the kick ready, hit the record button, and it's instantly going on there. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. This is my first MPK-25. I ain't never had one before, so I'm just figuring it out. But I was on YouTube looking for tutorials on how to get it to work, and I didn't find one. So, whoever needs this video, whoever wants to use it, there it is. Make sure your um, record score is on so you can actually use and record into the thing. Like you see here. And that's it. So, uh, deuces. And uh, have fun making beats. You know, I like this.